Hey everyone, time for our workout Wednesday. I have our fitness expert Emily Schramm with us today. We decided to head out to Wash Park because why not? It's still summer, it's still warm. Final few days of summer and it's so fun to work out outside. Yes. And I feel like a lot of people think if they're not drenched in sweat, there's no point in working out. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you guys some easy band moves that you can do on a road trip. You can do it in your backyard or you can come join us in Wash Park. Yeah, these are so great because they can pack so easily. And so they're so they cheap, are, they're yeah. like $2. So go find a pair. The first move we're gonna do is we're actually gonna sit down. So wrap the band around your feet and what I want you to do is pull as or hold as high as you can for the resistance that gives you good form. So for some people it might be here, for some people it might be here. Roll your shoulder blades back and you're just going to do a row all the way back. Try to get your elbows past your torso and after 10 reps I'm going to challenge you. You're going to hold as hard as you can. You'll feel biceps, you'll feel upper back and then you're good to the next move. I love it, simple rows. Yes. Then move the band up, you're gonna actually sit on it this time. So this is an alternating shoulder press. So grab like, kind of like a bicep curl and then pull your, pull your wrist towards your shoulders. There you go, and just one at a time, stomach nice and tight, you're gonna press. And try to exhale when you press, so there you go. And then again, after 10 on each side, you're gonna challenge yourself and hold here. This is a really good way to stabilize those muscles, work that core, and then we're moving to move number three. Oh, right there, they try. I know, right? Wow. Move number three is just a my take, banded take on a deadlift. And so what you're gonna do is stand on the band, and again, hold as low as you can with proper form. You're gonna roll your shoulder blades up and out and try to keep your lower back nice and flat and just stand, that's it. So you should feel this in hamstrings. If it feels a little too easy, you'll just hold a little bit lower, just making sure your lower back is never curved. So we're really working on this part of the back, staying nice and flat. Cool? Move number three, or move number four. I do too, it's my favorite. There's no workout complete without squats. So <laughs> it is so true. We're, we're gonna compound move the squat. So hold the band about right here. You're gonna squat first, and then all you're gonna do is add a scaption row. There you go, squat and then row. So what we're doing is we're working our legs, we're working our butt, we're getting our heart rate up, and then we're also squeezing our upper back, which we tend to forget about. Okay. And that's it. Four All the moves. way through there, I love it. 10, 10, 10, 10, and you're good to go. Whole thing on 9news.com. Yes. Emily, thank you. You're welcome.